So I've been trying to get myself out of a reading slump today by, well, reading. I've been reading, like, uh, Shades of Grey by Jasper Ford. I told you about that yesterday. Look at that, continuity. I'm, like, that far through, maybe, is that a quarter? Maybe just over a quarter of the way through, if you want to follow my progress. Go be my friend on Goodreads. I think there's a link in the, there might be a link in the description, I don't know. Can't even remember. I've been away from YouTube for so long. I'm really enjoying this book. It's really funny. It's uh, really well written. I get text messages during videos. That's how you know I'm professional. I'm going to check that. So I'm really enjoying the book. The book's really funny and well written. And it's a really interesting concept. The concept is... It's set very many, many years in the future after some event happens and now specific people can see specific colours and that d determines your social hierarchy and stuff and it's just really weird. The quote on the back of this is fantastic. If George Orwell had tripped over a paint pot or Douglas Adams favoured colour swatches instead of towels, neither of them would have come up with anything as eccentrically brilliant as Shades of Grey. On the back of this book it's been compared to George Orwell and Douglas Adams in the same sentence. And I love Douglas Adams, and George Orwell's a fantastic writer. And this is a really good book, and I'm really enjoying it. And I fear if I enjoy it too much, I'm going to have to buy a hardback off it. Or not, I don't know. I got the horrible thing is, oh, I really enjoyed that, I'll buy the hardback. Do I need to do that? I'm starting to feel like that's a bit unnecessary. This is why I've got so, too many books. Then again, sometimes it is necessary. I mean, uh, I bought the hardback of Ready Player One, and now I don't have the paperback, because I gave the paperback away to my girlfriend, Kate, for her birthday. You know, and she got enjoyment out of that book. She liked that book too. It was really weird seeing that book on her shelf when I went to her house the other day. It was very strange. But if I buy a hardback of this, buy my own copy, I can give away this one. Since it's, you know, not in great condition, it's got a crack down the spine. Yeah, it's used, but it cost me 80 pence, so I don't care. I just had a rather nice, healthy dinner. I had salad. I just had a salad. It was lasagna and salad, but I don't actually like lasagna, and I'm not quite sure why my mother actually keeps giving it to me. So I ate the salad and scraped away the lasagna. And yes, that was, it was lovely. It was lettuce and stuff. I literally have nothing new to tell you today, because all I've been doing is reading Shades of Grey. I've not been on my computer all day, because I've been having headaches, which sucks. Um, but I, I seem to be getting them in the morning, and then they go away. So, I'm hoping that it's nothing to do with the computer, because I kind of need the computer for everything in my life. Tomorrow is World Record Store Day, and I'm semi-sure I'm going to be in the house doing nothing on World Record Store Day. Though there is a new Green Day record out. Demos, which I think, yeah, brilliant, Green Day demos. It's demos of the Uno Dos and Trey album. Yeah, but, you know, I still might get them. I don't even have Trey yet, to be honest. So I should probably maybe look into... Getting that before getting Demolicious. Interesting thing about Grindy's new um, album for records would say, Demolicious, is it's available in three formats. It's available in CD, of course, uh, vinyl, mm -hmm. and cassette. Really? Wow. So you can get it in cassette, which is a terrible format to get it in, because it just destroys, completely destroys the sound. It's really interesting that they're making it available as a cassette, which I think kind of makes sense. Since it's demo tracks, it's, it's a demo CD uh, tape. It's a demo tape. It's a tape of demos. That was really interesting. You can hear it. It's for the people with the Walkman still. By the way, have you seen the um, Fine Brothers video, Kids React to Walkman? That blew my mind. The fact that they didn't even know what a cassette was. They they didn't like. They just couldn't get the concept of a cassette. They didn't. It's really strange. The you know, they, they're not that much younger than me, and they just genuinely just don't know what a cassette player is. That's odd to me. I mean, maybe some kids don't even know what CDs are. Okay, I'll see you guys later, at another point in the future. I'll edit this later, and I'm probably going to go back to reading Shads of Grey now. Bye. <laughs>